Hello, this is Adam from IDES Canada, and I would like to welcome you to the Centroid Odor Academy. This is episode one, the basics of odor. We hope to bring you many more episodes on all aspects of odor measurement, odor analysis, and air sampling. So let's get started. So, odor can be characterized by four different parameters. The first one is odor concentration. This is the most important one. We'll go over it in detail in a minute. The second one is odor intensity. Then we have hedonic tone and odor characteristic. So odor concentration, this is basically the most important parameter everybody talks about. And this describes the strength of an odor. For example, a flower is 30 odor units. Or if you live outside a wastewater treatment plant, you may be subjected to 10 odor units. Although that's fairly strong and you would definitely complain at that time. So what is an odor unit? An odor unit is a sample. If we say something is one odor unit, that means that that sample can be detected by 50% of population. So that means that 50% of population will detect that this is not clean air and the other 50% won't know that this is not cleaner. That does not mean that they will recognize the smell. They won't be able to say, oh, it's a flower at one other unit. They will simply say there is something there. Two other units is twice as strong. So that means that if I take that sample and mix it with equal amount of clean air, I will have one other unit again. This is the definition of the other unit. So three other units will require two times clean air to the one part sample to be able to become one order unit. So as I mentioned, a flower is about 30 order units. The wastewater treatment plant outside 10 order units. If you go very close to the wastewater treatment plant, let's say just above the lagoon, the number can be much higher, hundreds of thousands maybe even. So the order intensity is another parameter. It is perhaps less widely used as the other ones and uh, mostly used in the US. And what that does is it describes how the odor is in terms of how it's perceived by the panelist. So if you have an odor at one, that just means it's a very weak odor. Um, in our example, we have 30 odor units in the flower. The intensity is going to be about three. Now, the wastewater treatment plant was at 10 order units, so it was three times less concentration, but the order intensity might be set to be five. And that is more because an offensive order gets a higher intensity than a, a pleasant one. So you, a five would be very strong or intolerable. You can even say at 10 order units for wastewater treatment plant, but for a flower to become intolerable, it will need to be in the hundreds of odor units. So the odor characteristic is something that you just define what that odor smells like. So it can be like a musky smell, it can be an acidic smell, it can be flowery smell or a sewer smell. And this is mostly used just to describe, basically to try to pinpoint where the odor came from. If you live next to a paint plant and a wastewater treatment plant and you smell paint, you know who's basically responsible. But it can be 50 odor units, it can have an intensity of 5, but that won't help you to determine who is actually producing that odor. Hedonic tone is more, it's a newer characteristic and I really like this one and it's going to be more widely used in my opinion. It started out in Germany in the VDI 3882 standard, but it will go into the European standard, the American and the Canadian standards soon. And what the hedonic tone does, it goes a step above the odor intensity. So it puts a scale that has both positive and negative numbers. The positive numbers define the odor that is pleasant, and the negative numbers are the ones that are unpleasant. So a minus four is completely an offensive odor, something that you cannot tolerate. A plus four would be a very pleasant odor like fresh bread, 
smell of fresh bread, not in a bread factory, but in your own house, something not too intensive. And what is unique about hedonic tone is it's not done at one particular order uh, concentration, but it's done at different concentrations so that you can see how an odor behaves as it becomes stronger. So let's look at our example. We had the flower at one order units. Everything is probably around zero or minus one because at one order units, you're barely smelling that. But the flower at five order units becomes one in the hedonic scale. And at 10 order units, it becomes two. Maybe at 30 order units, somebody would say it's a one again because it's now starting to be too strong. Wastewater treatment plant starts out at minus one. At five order units, you go to minus two. And then at 30 order units, you go to minus four. So it has a fairly linear one. At, if you have a smell of a dead animal, a cadaver, you have at one other unit the same as everything else, but that smell is so offensive that as soon as you go to five order units, as soon as it becomes something that people can characterize, it becomes right away minus four. So you know that a cadaver, it doesn't matter that it's five order units, it's not the same as a wastewater treatment plant. People are going to complain right away. So the hedonic tone really tells you where in that concentration scale people will complain about this smell. Now lastly, I just want to touch on something that maybe is not as well known. Sometimes you put a biofilter, let's say, on a wastewater treatment plant process, and the concentration doesn't change. So you still had five order units at the property and uh, property line, and you will have again five order units. But the complaints go down. And the reason for that is because the hedonic tone changes. So the red line on the graph shows the biofilter input, and the yellow line shows the biofilter output. At one order unit, the biofilter before the biofilter was minus two hedonic tone, but after the biofilter, it goes to zero. And if you can see, let's say at 10 order units, it's only minus two for the output of the biofilter, but in the input, it would be minus four. So even if you're subjected to the same concentration of 10 order units or five order units, people won't complain at a hedonic tone minus one, probably not. But at hedonic tone minus three, before you install this biofilter, people will complain. So hedonic tone will really tell you how that odor changed in the effect of your filter. So this is all I wanted to cover in this episode. In the next episode, we're hoping to cover the VDI standard in more detail, where we'll tell you how the hedonic tone is calculated. Thank you very much.